I'm going to show you how to host a free static website. There are some limitations to this, which we'll get into, but otherwise let's get on into the tutorial. To do this, we're going to use a website called tinyhost with two eyes, T I I N Y dot host. And if you come down here to the pricing section, you'll see that they do have a $0 per month plan, which is free. And that gives you one website, three megabyte file uploads and 5,000 visitors per month. So just to give you some context in case you're not familiar with website hosting, that's not a lot of resources. Three megabyte file uploads is basically less than the size of a picture from your cell phone. 5,000 visitors a month, that's like maybe 150, 160 people coming to your website every day. For some people, this is okay, this is sufficient. All they want is a landing page. For other people, they might need more resources, which there are other options, but for this video, I'm gonna show you how to work with the free version. Okay, so let's click the Get Free button. and it take us back up top here. The simplest way to host and share your web project. So I'm gonna call my website Tony Teaches Tech. And what you do is you get a free subdomain name. Um, you can add a custom domain for like, I don't know, let's just say google.com or mywebsite.com. You would have to upgrade to do that, but otherwise you get a free subdomain at tonyteachestech.tiny.site for me. You could pick whatever you want here. And then you have these other options about what you want to host. So you can do an HTML static website. You can do a zip file, which includes multiple HTML files or other types of files, a PDF. And then they have some examples. So we're gonna look at HTML and zip later on in the tutorial, but the examples are pretty cool to start with because you get uh, basically a fully fledged website just with a few clicks of the button. So let's do this blog one here. I'm gonna publish that to tonyteachestech.tiny.site and we're gonna let it work its magic. And then on the other side, we have tonyteachestech.tiny.site. Let's see what that looks like. And as we expected, it's a basic skeleton of a blog. So we have Anthony, his profile picture, some social links, some basic uh, blog post examples here. That looks good. But how do we modify this? Well, let's go back to our account here and it says own and extend, create an account to edit and manage your link. So let's go ahead and do that. I'm gonna type in my email and sign up for a free account. And then over in my Gmail, I'm gonna check that. We got the verification email. So I'm gonna verify my email and then we can fill this out. Just a short survey. And we get that same pop-up with a lot more options here. Now, the one bug that I found with TinyHost is that if you go through the process that we just went through, there is no edit button here, okay? And that's okay because we didn't really do anything yet, but we still wanna edit our website. So in order to have that appear, let's just delete what we did so far and we can just do it again and that edit button should show up. So let's go upload, go to examples, click blog. We're gonna call it Tony Teaches Tech, publish. Okay, so the same pop-up here, but this time we have the edit button. So let's click on that, see what we get. We don't need this one anymore. And honestly, this is kind of a cool point and click editor. So I can double click here and say, Tony teaches tech. And then like, welcome to my blog, welcome to my website, something like that. But unfortunately, this is free. You have to upgrade to save your changes. So that's too bad, but there is a free way that you can still edit your website. That's what this video is about. So we don't have to upgrade. Let's get out of here. What we can do is actually download our code. So over here on the right, there is a way to download your website onto your local computer. And then we're gonna edit it on our local computer. So we can open that and you see we have uh, a zip file. So let's extract that zip. And in here we can see the contents of our website. So we have our index page, which is what we were looking at. We have, we can push spacebar to preview that. We have our blog post, an individual blog post. We have a list of blog posts and we have an about page. So just for the heck of it, let's open up our index.html with any text editor, the editor, the editor, yeah, with any text editor that you want. And I'm just gonna show you so we can, in here, this is HTML code in case you're not familiar. We can change the title from Bootstrap 4 blog template for developers to Tony teaches tech, just between these two tags here for the title. We can come down here, oh, Anthony's blog, I remember that. Let's call it Tony's blog. Come down here and then here, hi, my name is Anthony. I'm just gonna say, hi, my name is Tony. So let's save that. We'll get out of here. We, we can preview it offline since this is a static website. I'll hit my spacebar again. And you can see Tony's blog. 
hi, my name is Tony. Let's change this to dev, dev blog, a blog about. Let's open that up again. Come down here. And here it is, dev blog. I'm going to say Tony teaches tech. Okay, save that. Preview it. That looks good. Okay, so what we can do now is take all of this, compress it, and that's going to make a zip file. And now we could take that zip file and upload it back to TinyHost. So let's do that. We're going to delete what we have here. That's okay because we have a copy of it on our computer. Upload a zip. Upload the file. Inside here we have our archive.zip file. Now, because we deleted our website, let's make sure we call it Tony Teaches Tech. Publish. And boom, Tony teaches tech.tiny.site is live. Let's see if our changes are up here. And it looks like they are. So we got Tony teaches tech. Welcome to my blog. Hi, my name is Tony and Tony's blog. One thing though is that's not my picture. That's Anthony's picture. So let's see what we can do about that. Well, if you come in here, I have on my desktop uh, a picture of myself, a headshot. And if I try to come in here and upload this, it's going to say file not accepted. They do, they do, Tiny Host does not allow you with a free plan to upload pictures. So what can we do about that? Well, pretty much the same process that we did before. We can edit it offline and then upload it with the picture in our zip file. So let's go ahead and do that. Um, inside of our assets folder here, we can find another folder called images and then we can see Anthony's profile picture here. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna basically delete his profile picture drag mine in here and I'm going to make sure I call it the same that his was. So his was called profile. Okay. So now when we load the website again, we should see my picture and not Anthony's, but we have to go through that same process that we did before. So let's go get rid of our old archive file. So we'll move that to trash, select everything, compress all of that into a zip file, and then back in tiny host this time, instead of deleting the website, let's update the website. So we can click on update and upload a file. Here's our archive.zip, open, update. Okay, there we go, that was pretty quick. So let's see what our website looks like. And bam, there's my profile picture and not Anthony's picture. You get the idea, you can go through that workflow, change, change something, upload it, preview it, all that stuff until you get to a point where your website looks good for your use case. Now, there are, like I said in the beginning of the video, other options that you can do. So we also have the HTML option. And this is basically bring your own HTML template, okay? So there's many websites out there, some of which you have to pay for, some of which are free. I'll show you a free website where you can get HTML templates, and that's called HTML5up.net. And there's a, a long, long list of them here, all of which are free downloads. The one that I like, is called Verti. Okay, so this is, we can see a live demo of it here. Um, looks really good, some pictures and some blocks of code. Okay, so let's download that for free. Okay, now we have that in our downloads folder. It's basically the same exact thing that we were doing. Let's upload that zip file and see what we get. So back here in tiny hosts, let's update, upload file, and we'll pick the Verti.zip file, update. Okay, boom, that has updated our entire website, replacing everything that was there with the Verti theme. So let's take a look at what that looks like. And as expected, this is what we saw on the HTML5up.net website. So this is Verti. You can go through the same exact workflow, download the code, modify it, compress it, upload it, and then you can see your changes happen. So very cool for a free website hosting option. If you're looking for something that has less limitations than this, I recommend that you check out this video next. I'll see you guys over there.